uh, I'm Blake Rife and this is Rife Farms. We're going to start a new video series uh, today on the way, th we're going to call it the way things are now. And that's intended to be a discussion on where the farm's currently at and whether or not the adjustments that we make and our grazing strategies and the way that we manage this property has a positive influence on uh, the outcome of this farm. This pasture, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a video tour here in a second, is about 120 acres. And last summer, we did some high intensity short-term grazing on this piece. We stripped this out into about um, five different segments. And we utilized a little bit of hot rope here to try and um, control the cattle and help them decide where they wanna graze and uh, where they want to spread their manure. The pasture itself has one creek that goes through it. It runs from the east to the west. This whole pasture is long east-west. And then on the very western edge, there is a pond. And we've been using the creek and the pond to uh, water the cattle. Ideally, next year, we can trench a line um, about a thousand yards away and bring it down into here to do a to do a tire tank uh, where we got higher quality water. The creek is running all the time, but the water quality, as soon as the cows step in it, you know, it's not quite as good as we'd like. And one of the biggest factors that affects your rate of gain is the overall water quality in the pasture. So we're uh, try, gonna try and make that, that change this year. We'll see how it all plays out. Um, like I said, the paddocks that we were doing, they were running north-south, and that was designed to try and make sure that the cows had access to water all the way through the year. Um, if we get the tire tank in, then we can start to um, change things a little bit. We can run our, our lines north-south and just extend the grazing out over a period of time, and then the cows can walk back across the pasture to uh, get some fresh water. There's a nice run of trees all the way down through here. There's actually uh, two sets of trees that kind of feed together. So the cows have uh, some, some shade all the way through the year. The grass here is a predominantly cool season grass. It's smooth brome. It's not my favorite grass in the United States, but um, you know, during the springtime right now, it's green enough. It actually looks pretty good. So, you know, you kind of got to pick and choose, you know. A little bit of cool, a little bit of warm, and that goes what gets you through the grazing season. So, um, I hope that you guys follow us and take a look at what we're doing. And hopefully, some of my successes are things that you can implement on your farm, and some of my failures are things that you can avoid. You know, we're just we're learning as we go. Uh, we're we're doing some research, but we're still learning as we go. And um, each farm is unique and you've got to manage what you've got in front of you so please give us a follow or a subscription and let us know what you think and um, take a look at what we've got going on if it works for you that's fantastic if it doesn't you know that's that's your choice so thanks a bunch